Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Derek Sims and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to download custom content and mods for The Sims 4. So downloading custom content and mods is so easy once you figure it out. Um, it is going to be a game changer for you guys. It's so much fun. But it can also be a little bit complicated because there's so many steps, making sure things work and stuff like that. So here we are in The Sims 4. So what you want to do first, before you do anything, you want to go to Options, Game Options, Other, and then you're going to want to select Enable Custom Content and Mods, and it will say that the game needs to be restarted for this change to take effect. That's okay. And then you also want to select Script Mods Allowed. And this kind of like nerve-wracking pop-up can come up. Um, saying script mods may cause your game to crash or result in other other unexpected behavior. Use at your own risk. You will need to restart the game for this setting change to take effect. So essentially what this is telling you is that some mods out there have uh, script files, they're called. And script files modify how the game works. Which, that sounds super scary, but trust me, it is nothing to be worried about. You just want to go ahead and click OK. And then of course, once you're done, make sure you hit Apply Changes. And there's also a little button right here that says View Custom Content. If you click that, you can see a list of all installed custom content and script mods. As you can see, I have none. I usually do play with mods, but for this video, I took all my mods out. So that way I can show you guys, if you've never downloaded mods or custom content before, this is what it should look like for you. And there's a little green check mark right here that says show at startup. Uh, you can turn that off or on. I like to keep it on just so that way every time I launch The Sims 4, this menu will pop up uh, just to show like me what mods I'm using and making sure that they're actually installed correctly. I recommend you turn this on just for now, um, so that way you can make sure you got your mods and stuff and custom content installed in the correct place. So now we can start downloading our custom content and mods. My personal favorite website I love to use is modthesims.info. They have everything from mods and custom content, and you can even get mods and custom content for different Sims games. So like, there's The Sims 4, The Sims 3, and even The Sims 2. I absolutely love modthesims.info, and I'm actually uploading mods of my own here as well. I'll leave a link for Mod The Sims in the description down below so we can easily get to it. So I also use Patreon a lot too, um, but with Patreon, you can't really go on there and search like Sims 4 mods because you're not really going to get a lot of results. It's mostly used for if you're downloading custom content and mods for a specific creator. For example, Werbisu here creates a lot of great mods for The Sims 4, um, such as UI Cheats extension and even more cast columns. So I'll leave a link to his Patreon too because he also creates tons of good mods. There are tons of mod and custom content websites out there, but modthesims.info is my personal favorite just because it's very organized, very clean, and it's if you're new to downloading mods and custom content, it's definitely a good place to start. So you can really just search on here practically anything. So I found this mod, it's called Legacy Personality. I'm gonna download it. It essentially adds aspirations and traits from The Sims 3, which is a really nice idea. So to actually download it, you're gonna wanna scroll down to download, and then you will find this right here. There might be more than one download, but they usually leave a, uh, thing in the description that says which one to download depending on which one you want slash need. But for this one, there's only one download, so we'll go ahead and click download. So with custom content, it's pretty much the exact same steps. Um, like I found a Waffle House uniform and hat, um, which is really, really cute and funny. So I'm going to download that one as well. And then I'm going to download UI Cheats extension from Werpasu on his Patreon uh, because UI Cheats extension is a script mod. So I'll kind of show you guys how that works. So like with Patreon, you kind of want to like scroll past all this, past all the change logs, and then you'll find a link right here. So once you have your mods and custom content, you're going to want to navigate to your documents folder on your computer. That is where you will find this electronic arts folder. You're going to want to open it. 
then click The Sims 4, and then you will find a folder that says Mods. So if you open this, this should be empty except for this file right here, the resource.cfg file. Do not delete this file. The game needs this file to read the mods and custom content that you are putting into the folder. So this should be the only thing you have in your folder. So then I'm going to drag all of these folders into my mods folder, but you are not quite done yet. You will need to extract these folders because they are either a .zip file, a .rar file, uh, doesn't matter what kind of file it is, but you will need some sort of program to extract those files. So for example, I have Renoir already installed on my computer, so I'm going to select these and say extract here. So that is going to extract everything out of these zip files. Once you extract it, you can go ahead and delete those as you will not need those anymore. So essentially everything is installed, but you can make it a little bit more organized, which I highly recommend you do. So I'm gonna create a folder, for example, I'm gonna say new folder and I'm gonna call this UI cheats. And then I'm going to drag the UI cheats extension files into the folder. And I'm going to do the same thing with the legacy personality. And same thing, I'm going to drag these into the folder. So it looks like the Waffle House uniform already came with its folder, which is okay. And it essentially makes it organized for you. So that's actually really nice. However, if you are doing this, do not create a folder inside of a folder. So like, for example, if this UI cheats folder, if I were to create a folder within the UI cheats folder, and I can call this whatever, if I were to put one of these files in that folder, the game will not be able to read it. All right, so I think we're all set to go now. So you can go ahead and close that and launch The Sims 4. And as soon as the game launches, if you clicked the show at startup that I showed you guys earlier, you will see this pop up. So you will get a list of your script mods here and the custom content. Sometimes certain mods will go under custom content, but trust me, it is still a mod. So for script mods, it's saying that these two will change the way the game works. So first off, let's see if the Waffle House uniform is installed correctly. So it is under full body, I'm pretty sure. And you can actually open this little arrow, which is the filter panel, and then you can say content and then custom content. And from there, as you can see, the Waffle House uniform is here and the hat is here as well. So we know our custom content has successfully installed and this looks actually really good. This is really well made. So now we're gonna test out our mods. So we got the legacy personality. So as soon as I open this, we should see some differences. So look at this, there's new ones. Like we got Perfect Mind, Perfect Body, which are all from The Sims 3. So this is so fun. Yep, so we got all of these to work. All of these are in working order. Like we got Chess Legend here. And I think there's traits that come with it too, yes. So there's like brooding here and then there's over emotional. So now I'm gonna hop into a game here and see if the UI cheats extension works. All right, so we just loaded into our game. So the UI cheats extension pretty much makes it, you can interact with these like icons here and they will actually do stuff. So one of them, for example, is if we left click the money button, it should give us a thousand simoleons. So let's go ahead and try it. And sure enough, it works. So there you have it. We have all of our mods and custom content installed and working in The Sims 4. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and also consider subscribing. I post Sims free play and Sims 4 content. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.